Hi guys, it's Jill and today I am in the same outfit that I was in a video or two ago because I am already sitting down filming and I just kind of wanted to do the unboxing portion of this video because we're gonna do the unboxing and then the using, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys what I've got because Cavalry reached out to me and you guys may know this brand. Cavalry? I don't know. I feel like it's Cavalry. I could be wrong. So they sent me boots and I, now I'm going to show you guys. These are the Pro K support boots. I thought that they were really cool. They're kind of like barrel racing style, I think. Is that what barrel racers use? What are they on the inside? It says anti-slip design. It feels like neoprene, but some people get really mad if you say it's neoprene and it's not neoprene because neoprene doesn't breathe. But these are really cool. They've got strike plate on the back. It's a flexible plate, you can bend it. I think those are super cool. So I got large hinds and medium fronts. These are the other pair should be destructive. Oh, take that. For the record, I meant to ask for these in white, but I forgot to specify color, so I got them in the black. The next thing that I have to open from them are the dressage sport boots. Come in these handy dandy little bags now. They are floofy. So these are damn. These are the larges. As you can see, they've got yellow stitching and I think it's kind of cool because it kind of matches the little faux sheepskin. They've got a little strike pad. You can see it's, it's still flexible. So I don't know, it might just be like a piece of stiff foam or something. But I also got them in size medium. Look how little they are. Cute. So the last thing that I have to open that I'm a little bit confused about, honestly, is this. They sent me the dressage boots and then the fronts of these pro K boots. I was like, I need the Heinz. And for some reason, it was really difficult to do the emails. Finally, they sent me a message on Instagram and were like, what else do you need? Like, why aren't you posting? And I was like, I said that I need the, the Heinz. And they were like, oh, okay. So I don't know where the wire got crossed. Apparently, whoever realized that I didn't have the Heinz didn't realize that I said that I didn't want one of these. Now I have one, so let me open it, show you guys. This half pad, this is the bottom of it. I forget what you call this, it's bareback pad bottom. <laughs> Always, every bareback pad has this texture bottom, which I don't know why, I don't feel like this is very comfortable on a horse's back. If I have a bareback pad that's like that, I always put a saddle pad on under, but it would look like on top of the horse's back. The gullet width here is pretty decent. I'm not too mad about that. I wish it didn't narrow back here. I don't know. I mean, this might, might work, might not. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. I just, I don't know. I'm not real crazy about half pads anyway. Like, the saddle really needs to fit. It's not very squishy. Like, this is squishier than this. It's pretty firm. I'm not crazy about having lumpy bumpy stuff under your saddle. I think need to be just like flush, but I don't know. I might find a horse that absolutely loves it. Who knows? Yeah, so I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna go get on a horse. Okay. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Handsome Ted. Ready to get ridden? Of course, we're only mildly in a hurry. And he has pig pinned himself. Bad. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs>
same horse. Just gotta try out the other pair of boots. And we are also in the Milestone Equestrian saddle pad. Very famous. Is your head spinning too?